All right, we got Euro Path to Glory, Dusan Vlavic. Let's take a look at him and let's try him out. We're looking at a card that has four star skill moves with a five star weak foot, high medium work rate, and he is 6'3. Current acceleration type is mostly lengthy 95 pace, 98 shooting, 81 passing, 94 dribbling, 93 physical. When we do dive into his in game stats, we have another usable Vlavic card in this game, and that's honestly really nice to see. And you are definitely drawn to that dribbling since it is at 98. I don't have to speak much about it. It basically speaks for itself. Those stats look absolutely fantastic. And I'm just hoping those stats actually translate into the gameplay. Because if it does, Vlavic can be a fantastic finisher in this game. The recommended Kenji style for this card is going to be that engine. Just so you can get some nice upgrades to his pace, passing, and his dribbling. But obviously specifically to his dribbling because you want to make sure Vlavic is as responsive on the ball as possible. So with that being said, he's going to get a plus 4 to his agility and a plus 8 to his balance and a plus 4 to his dribbling. The plus 8 to his balance is going to bring it from 82 to 90. The plus 4 to his duty is going to bring it from 83 all the way up to 87. And that right there should help out Vlavic when it does come to less sick dribbling. Since he is 6 foot 3, I'm not expecting this guy to be as shifty as Messi or other players that are shorter in this game that are known for really good less sick dribbling. I'm just hoping that after the engine buff, he feels decently on the ball and if he can actually turn pretty decently it can actually allow Vlavic to have a big advantage in this game so hopefully that is the case because he could be really really effective you are going to max out both his acceleration and his sprint speed so after that his pace is going to be maxed out am i expecting his pace to feel maxed out probably not i'm not going to lie but I still do expect the Vlavic to feel pretty quick in this game. So we just honestly have to wait and find out. Another reason why you want the engine too is because his strength is at 99. But with that 99 strength, and if you can combine it with some decent less sick dribbling in this game, it can allow that player to be really, really effective, allow him to have a big advantage. And hopefully that is the case with Vlavic because you can really utilize that 99 strength to your advantage. And that's another way you could be really effective with this card. We do dive into his play styles. He has nine play styles and three play style pluses in the finesse shot plus, the bet ball plus, and the aerial plus. Finesse shot plus, we already know best play style in the game. Going to allow any card that has it to have really effective finishing. So that is something I expect to see out of Vlavic, especially with the five star weak foot. So right foot, left foot, it does not matter inside the box, outside the box. I expect the Blavich finishing to be incredible with the finesse shot mechanic. I'm not quite sure why he has dead ball plus, but honestly, this is really interesting. So I'm curious to see how good his free kicks are going to be in this game. And lastly, with the aerial plus, since he is six foot three, since he is known to be a really good box presence in real life, this play style makes sense. So hopefully we do get some balls in the air and just so we can test out his aerial plus chip shot long ball pass flare rapid travella all other play styles that are definitely going to help Vlavic in a very positive way notice how i didn't say the power shot because the regular power shot is so useless don't even worry about using this mechanic especially since you do got the finesse shot plus obviously for this review we will be trying out Vlavic as our main striker in a 4-3-2-1 this is just so he can be the main focal point of our attack and just so we can get the best out of him in this review all right this guy has the potential to be even better than his team of the season version so let's hop into the gameplay and let's see how good Vlavic can really be you have Vlavic on it get that finesse beautiful Oh, Vlavic. They should not be able to catch you. Hit that finesse. Beautiful. There you go. If he could be good in space with his pace, this guy could be absolutely lethal. Go, Vlavic. Hit the angle. Finesse. Good save by Schmeichel. Too tight of an angle there. Didn't really get the angle I wanted. Go, Vlavic. Go, Vlavic. I'm talking about, buddy. Vlavic. Well done. Nice shot one with the keepers going in every single time. It's a cheat code. It's never going to get saved. Never. Go, Vlavic. Our post. Great finish. <laughs> Unlucky. Wow. Keepers absolutely beat him, but we have to hit the bar there. Check out no chance on that one. Vlavic. Oh, I could say by check. I thought I could catch him there. How does he still have the ball there? What? Love it. Great now turn. Fantastic. Meant to say great little turn. I just got caught in the moment. I mumbled. Okay, my bad. Ooh, I thought I got the angle there. Good save by Allison. Oh. Oh, love it. 
Tips the keeper. That is fantastic. Love it. That's a great strike. Unfortunately, with the bar again, man. Go. Yeah. Once this guy's in space, good luck trying to defend him. Yes, Blavich. Yes, Blavich. Okay, just gave me a free goal. I'll take it. Gotta take free goals whenever you can get them. Okay, look. All right, we got him in space. Yeah, use that. Supposed to sprint. Finesse. Not saving that. Unlucky with another bar. What is up today? With me hitting all these bars. Like, am I garbage or something? We finished. Well done. Off the post and in. Love it. I'll pick that. He's not going to put anybody on me, but that's okay. If you want to AI defend, by all means, buddy. Give me all that space. You're going to get punished. Blavich. Use that pace. I'll take that. Great finish. That's a great finish, Blavich. Well done. Nice. Well done. Splits the defense. I just think so far that his pace is so lethal and that he's actually pretty responsive on the ball to the point where it actually makes him really, really effective in this game, guys. I'm honestly really happy with what I'm seeing so far. Nice. Well done. That's an absolute screamer. Love it. Love that. Well done. Nice little combo play with Odegaard there. Go Blavich. Yeah, Rudiger can't do anything about that. Great finish. It's crazy because he doesn't have rapid or quick step, even like the regular play styles of them. But he just feels like he has that explosive edge over defenders in this game. I don't know really how to explain it, but it's impressive. Like, I don't know. I just find like he has that extra jump than most players in this game. I might be tripping. I don't know. That's just what I've been feeling so far with, with this guy. I mean, that's just phenomenal right there. A little step over cheese, but still, here's acceleration. Nice, Blavich. That's an absolute banger. Quick little turn there. Farpo's finish. Like, guys, I want to show you guys more misses, but the funny thing is, I'm not missing that much with this guy, especially inside the box. Go. Use that 99 strength. Yeah, good luck trying to get the ball off of him. Good luck trying to get the ball off of him, man. Um, um, okay. I didn't think he would be this quick, if I'm honest. I thought he was going to feel a little bit slower than his base 95, but I guess the engine's helping him out. Dude, he genuinely cannot get the ball off of him. He's R1 spamming and everything, and he still can't get the ball off of him. Nice, great finish. That's a goal, Lasso. Unlucky with another bar. I don't think I've ever been this unlucky with a card in my life that has the finesse shot plus playstyle. You want know a bars and pulls I've been hitting with it outside the box? is actually criminal, not gonna lie. Nice, great finish. Let's put him in space once again. Good luck. Good luck trying to defend this guy in space. Good luck, guys. There you go. There you go, Blavid. Nice, beautiful finish. Lasso, well done, Blavich. All right, so when it comes to past the glory, Dusan Blavich, I can definitely say that this is a very good card in this game. With the price that he's currently at right now and with the potential upgrades he can get, he's an absolute bargain. He's a lot of fun to play with. There's so many good features about this card, so let's get right into it. The best thing about this card, and you guys probably guessed it, is going to be its finishing, mainly because of this beautiful playstyle plus right here. Nice shot plus playstyle is so overpowered in this game, and it's honestly shown through Vlavic. Combine the finesse shot plus with a five-star weak foot, and it literally is automatic with either foot. Right foot, left foot, inside the box, automatic. Right foot, left foot, outside the box. When you do get the right angles, you can put it into that back post. 
It allows any card in this game that has its place on to be super, super effective when it comes to finishing long shots inside the box, on top of the box. Once again, it does not matter. And with the five star weak foot, so, so lethal and so much fun to you guys as well. But the cool thing about Vlavic too is that I honestly did find that his regular shooting mechanic was also really consistent as well. Get in those good spaces inside the box, right foot, left foot once again, hit it into that back post, hit it into that near post, and it has a really good chance of going in as well. I didn't find that he missed a lot of easy chances. In my opinion, he actually scored a lot of tough chances as well. So in general, his finishing is incredible. And now something I was actually really happy about. Another thing I was actually really impressed about is his pace. Guys, in space, this guy is absolutely lethal. And he can also run by a lot of defenders in this game as well. Which is pretty crazy because I did mention in the video how he doesn't even have the quick step playstyle. But his explosive sprint is really, really good in this game. I did say how he doesn't have the rapid, but I completely forgot that he did. But anyway, since he does got the rapid playstyle, it allows him to have that explosive edge over defenders. And that's when you can really utilize his pace to run by defenders in this game. So make sure when you are utilizing his pace, initiate that run with them in behind the back line. That's where he can do a lot of damage and also get the ball with them and utilize his sprint to get by defenders in this game as well. That's what makes his pace so effective, and that's something I was actually really surprised about. His dribbling is okay. I'm not going to say that he is the shiftiest guy in the game, but you can definitely move with him. Is he like Messi? Absolutely not. He moves like a guy that is pretty decent, that is 6'3 tall, in my opinion. So he moves good enough. You can create some space with them, combine the Lessig dribbling with the finesse shot playstyle, especially inside the box. And that's another way you can be dangerous with Vlaovic. And whenever a card that is six foot tall or higher is pretty decent at dribbling, especially with his left stick, it allows him to have a big advantage as well. Combine that with his 99 strength. By the way, his strength is phenomenal in this game. He does not get knocked out the ball very easily at all. He makes defenders' lives an absolute nightmare in this game. And it is so much fun to utilize. Defenders on his back, hold that LT or that L2, whichever console you are on, put him on your back, quickly turn him, use that strength, or even utilize the strength when you are performing the less like dribbling. It's fantastic in this game, and it honestly helps him out so much. And when it does come to upgrades, I expect Serbia to be a dark horse in this tournament. I honestly do think they are going to be doing pretty well. I'm not going to lie. Definitely better than the World Cup, because I do find that the Euro Cup is definitely going to be a little bit better for them. So in general, Vlavic is a very, very good card in this game, and he honestly is an absolute bargain as well. If you guys are on a budget, I highly recommend you guys go and pick up this player. He's going to get some nice upgrades. Five-star weak foot, great pace fantastic finishing decent dribbling fantastic strength as well with the finesse shot plus it's an absolute no-brainer for this price tag and if you guys do have a lot of coins although Vavich is not ultra meta in this game he's still really really fun to use so i highly recommend you guys just go out and pick him up try him out and you guys will definitely not be disappointed but with that being said if you guys did enjoy the video leave a like that would be much appreciated subscribe for some more eafc content and for some more player reviews make sure to follow all the socials in the description and as always i'll see you guys in the next one Peace.